Most functions get uglier when we take their derivatives. Polynomials do not. Most functions are difficult to integrate. Polynomials are simple to integrate. We can differentiate and integrate power functions like finite polynomials. And the simplicity of this process goes a long way to explaining the importance of power series. Say that we use a power series to define a function. We've mostly been using power series centered around zero, but it could be centered anywhere. This function is differentiable. So any function that can be expressed in this way it does have a derivative. And its derivative is taken just as you would take the derivative of a finite polynomial. And this derivative also converges on this interval. Let's see, at least briefly, how we might use this. Let's look at a kind of complicated function. Say that we need the third derivative of this function. I've called it kind of complicated. By the time we get to the third derivative, I think we can drop the word kind of. You see, differentiating this has really made it a lot worse, much more complicated. On the other hand, suppose you recognize somehow we won't say how for now, although we'll get to it in the very next section, that this function is equal to a power series. We take the derivative, we get a power series. You see, I took the derivative just as I would with a finite polynomial. The one half went away. The derivative of negative one fourth x is negative one fourth. The two comes down to become 10. The three comes down to become 39. This comes from our x to the fourth term. And this derivative isn't any more complicated than this. I mean, this is a power series. This is a power series. We take the second derivative. This power series is no worse than this power series is no worse than this power series. Take the derivative one more time. The third derivative up here, it's hideous. Down here, it's just another power series. Is. And our instinct might be that anything involving infinite terms is going to be inherently harder to work 
requests, then something involving finite terms. But in reality, there are a lot of situations where you'd rather work with this than this. In particular, since this power series converges, these terms are going to zero. So if you keep, say, a finite number of terms, if you keep 10 terms, maybe, that's going to be a really, really good approximation of this, at least close to the center of the power series. So although the power series is infinite, you can cut it off to get good finite approximations of this.